internet welcome back today i'm going to take a look at this little device that came to me from a far away land it is called the laser cube and it can do a lot of weird things it pops balloons you can play very strange video games on it and of course you can use it to put on a laser show I might talk about all of these things at a later time, but today I want to burn stuff with it. Cool. <laughs> fire, 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 fire. <laughs> the laser cube is rather powerful, and I'm not actually sure if I'm allowed to own it here in Germany. But oh well, it made it through customs, and now it is mine, and it will be very hard to take it away from me again, because I now own a powerful laser. This little metal box makes you feel like a super villain when using it. There is actually three safety measures you have to take before it even turns on. A switch, a fuse and a key. The key really sucks by the way. It bent after one use, but alright, it still works. After turning the cube on, it can be connected to other devices. I used my trusty old S7 as a control box. There are a couple of apps that can be used with the laser cube, but laser OS is the main software for it. As you can see here, I have a couple of different options when it comes to burning images on surfaces. As always, I decided not to read the instructions and just go for it, as is recommended for any device that can potentially set your home on fire. Let's start with the first test. I didn't really want to try paper, since I'm sure that would be quite dangerous. So I found this piece of cardboard that is actually the top of one of my many comic book boxes. The menus of the laser OS were a little confusing to me. In the beginning I just wanted to burn some text, but I couldn't figure out how to do that. So I just picked one of the many pre-installed templates for this test. I experimented a lot with the time settings. Basically, I could control the speed with which the laser is tracing the image, which would affect how deep the burn goes. Sorry that I placed my camera so far away from the action, but this laser gets really bright and I was afraid of damaging my lens by going any closer. I was actually wearing sunglasses throughout this whole thing and I still feel that I got dangerously close to hurting my eyes. A lot of trial and error was involved before I finally saw some results. As you can see, I experimented a lot with the burn time. I started out with just a minute and then finally ended with around 300 seconds. But even at that setting I couldn't see any markings on the cardboard. It would have been possible of course to just move the laser closer to uh, the surface or slowly keep lowering um, the speed it moves. But I decided to put on this nice little focus lens that I bought with my machine and set the speed really low. There was definitely a big difference and I could see smoke coming from the material almost immediately. I decided to cancel that test and I adjusted the speed yet again. And before my next try I got myself one of these nice portable fire extinguishers here. I don't want to show you the whole process, so through the magic of editing I skip to the end. As you can see here, the end result is far from perfect. The laser almost burned through the cardboard and I don't blame the gadget, I blame myself. I should have taken much smaller steps when adjusting the speed. But oh well, let's look for something else to burn and worry about such minor details later. This case for my phone is already quite beautiful, but maybe I can enhance it by burning a skull into it. This seems to be some sort of artificial leather, so it's basically plastic. I decided to torture it with roughly the same intensity as the cardboard and the result was quite good. I guess with a little fine tuning the mouth of the skull would have looked even better, but I won't throw this one away. For my last test I found this wooden box which houses my incredible collection of USB cables. This time I choose a completely different strategy. I went for a superficial burn and repeated the procedure four times. 
It turns out my beer-soaked brain still comes up with good ideas every once in a while, since I got the best result yet. The fact that this is quite, si quite a simple design also helped a bit. My first impression of the laser cube is quite positive. This is a fun little toy with a lot of functions. Messing around with it was definitely fun. If you are interested in getting a laser cube yourself, check the description for a link to the website of the manufacturer. If you want to see more videos about the laser cube or have some suggestions on stuff I should burn next, please let me know in the comments. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching, hope you had fun. Have a great day. See ya!